the last video, we derived orthogonal projections of vectors onto m-dimensional subspaces. In this video, we'll run through a simple example. We're going to define x to be a three-dimensional vector given by 2, 1, 1, which is over here. And we define two basis vectors for our two-dimensional subspace, b1 to be 1, 2, 0, and b2 to be 1, 1, 0. So that means u, which is spanned by b1 and b2, is going to be effectively the plane and its extension. So this all is u. The orthogonal projection was given as pi u of x is b times lambda, and we define b now to be b1 and b2 concatenated, which is 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 0. And lambda was given as b transpose b inverse times b transpose x. b transpose times x is given as 4, 3 vector. b transpose b is a 2 by 2 matrix, which is 5, 3, 3, 2. Now we solve for lambda as b transpose b inverse times b transpose x, which means we find lambda such that b transpose b lambda equals b transpose x. Using Gaussian elimination, we arrive at lambda equals minus 1, 3. And this implies our projection of x onto the space spanned by the two b vectors is minus 1 times b1 plus 3 times b2, which is 2, 1, 0. In our diagram over here, this would correspond to this vector here. This is pi u of x. This result makes sense because our projected point has as a third component the zero, and our subspace requires that a third component is always zero. Our projected vector is still a three-dimensional vector, but we can represent it using two coordinates if we use the basis defined by b1 and b2. Therefore, that is the compact representation of the projection of x onto this lower dimensional subspace. In this video, we looked at a concrete example of the orthogonal projection of a three-dimensional vector onto a two-dimensional subspace. In the next video, we're going to exploit orthogonal projections and derive a dimensionality reduction algorithm called principal component analysis.